Hi, so in the previous video we looked at what happens if we change the say no the depreciation rate in the solar growth model and in this one we're going to look at what happens if we change the saving rate. So as you can see we've got the standard diagram we've been using throughout this series uh, with S1 F K as our investment function and our depreciation function sigma k. So where they meet, that is our steady state, so investment equals depreciation, and our capital stock stays at k1 star in the long run. What happens if we increase the savings rate to s2, which is greater than s1? Well, let's think about this. Currently, we have the savings rate coming into this investment function. It is multiplying our uh, output function, fk. So if we increase the fact that it's multiplying this, this is simply just going to increase this function. It's going to transform it by a positive amount. So if I can draw this terribly, uh, let's try and draw this. It will shift the curve up something like this. Uh, this function should always be increasing, so sorry, I'm having a bit of difficulty drawing. But this shifts the curve up here. And we see that we have a new steady state uh, where investment equals depreciation here. So we get a new steady state, K2 star, which is higher. Uh, quite intuitive, really. Savings does equal to investment in our solo economy. So if we increase the savings rate, we're going to increase savings, and so we're going to increase investment. Uh, if investment is higher, it's going to take a higher level of depreciation for us to break even and be in steady state. So if we increase S, this increases our K star. It increases our steady state capital, and that in turn is going to increase our output. Uh, per capita, because as we know, y equals uh, this function of k. So if we increase k, we're going to increase y. Uh, let's imagine we start at k1 star, we're originally at this steady state, and we increase the savings rate to s2 and we shift to this new curve. What do we have now? We now take investment based on this curve, and we still have the same depreciation, because that has stayed the same. So investment is now greater than depreciation and if investment is greater than depreciation that means that we have a change in capital which is positive so we move along this curve um, yeah and we move to the new steady state k2 star at which point the change in capital will equal zero at steady state and we will stay there, assuming that nothing else changes in the future. So, pretty simple really, increase the savings rate, you increase investment, you increase your steady state level of capital stock. Thanks for watching, that is what happens if we change the savings rate in the solo model. Make sure to subscribe for future videos like this and check out the playlist on the solo growth model for the next video in the series in which we are going to be adding population growth to the solo model making the model a bit more realistic because in real life populations tend to grow so yes check that out